Hey guys, uh, James here, you're watching 30 Minute Gamer. Thanks for uh, checking in with us today. So, we're going to have uh, some kind of recent purchases that we've made, some kind of game pickups. So, I just wanted to share these with you because uh, most of them will probably be making their way onto the channel at some point through uh, gameplay videos. So, uh, I just thought I'd show you what we got. And uh, yeah, I'm going to start with some Xbox 360 games, which uh, uh, one of my friends at work was clearing out his Xbox collection and they uh, sold some games off to me uh, for a real good price so I uh, couldn't really refuse that and some good titles here as well so uh, yeah so uh, yeah, just want to share these so first one uh, was Crackdown 2 uh, played the first Crackdown uh, on the 360 uh, and I know the new Crackdown's on its way which looks pretty good so uh, I thought I haven't played Crackdown 2 yet so I uh, thought I'd give that a go so uh, that was the first one uh, next one is uh, Halo 4. So this was, uh, I think this was part of what the collector's edition that he'd bought. Uh, so this for me is just the uh, the bare game, there's no other collectibles. Uh, but it does have the, the real cool uh, metal case, which I'm a sucker for these cases. They just look good, they feel good, and they're just uh, kind of classy. I think so anyway. So. Uh, uh, and I already have Halo 4, but when I saw the case, couldn't pass that up. Uh, so the next one was uh, Ninja Gaiden 2. Uh, I played the other Ninja Gaiden games uh, going back a few years now. And uh, again, this is one I haven't tried, but I've heard good things about it. So uh, again, it's going cheap. So uh, yeah, took that. And uh, next one was uh, Castlevania Lord of Shadows. Uh, or Lord of Shadow, sorry. Uh, this one, I love the Castlevania games, so when I saw this one, again, haven't played it before, I uh, wanted to try it out. And then I noticed uh, on the back there's a Kojima Productions sticker, or logo. Uh, so if Kojima was involved with this one, then I'm sure it's going to get kind of weird, because, uh, you know, the Metal Gear games and stuff, they're always like, super weird. So uh, I'm kind of looking forward to this now that I've seen that he was involved in some capacity. Uh, next one was uh, Bayonetta. So uh, I missed this, I think it was last month or the month before. It was on uh, Xbox Live as one of the games with gold freebies and I've just missed it. So I've uh, been wanting to play this for a while. Initially I played a demo back in the day on PlayStation 3. Uh, liked but never got around to buying it. So uh, again saw it in the box and thought yeah, gotta have that one. And next one is uh, Mortal Kombat. So uh, again, this is the kind of reboot version. Uh, definitely not one for the kids, but uh, but what Mortal Kombat game is these days anyway. So uh, uh, again, just everything in there that you need. And uh, yeah, not more to say about Mortal Kombat. It's one in one fighting game. You're probably familiar with this, so. Uh, next one, uh, something for the kids, uh, and me as well, uh, we've got the Ghostbusters game. I uh, got this through Steam uh, a while ago as well, and the kids kind of dominated the PC trying to get onto this and some other games, so uh, when I saw this for the 360 in there, I thought, well, it's a good pickup, and it might help me get my PC back. Uh, so, a couple of classics coming up, we got the Borderlands, uh, again... Not much to say about Borderlands that you probably don't already know, so uh, just a real good game and uh, lo love the humour in it as well. So uh, we've got that one. Uh, also, Borderlands 2, and again it's one of the, the steel tin aluminum ones. Uh, again, I was part of a collector's edition I'm sure. Uh, again, instructions, disc, all in mint condition, so uh, again, real good pick up with that one. And the last 360 game uh, was Portal 2. Uh, again, uh, my son's been playing a lot of Portal on the PC. Uh, he's been playing some Portal 2 as well, because we have that. Uh, but again, if we can get it in the 360, it's less time on my PC, and I can get some more videos done for you guys. Uh, so that was all the 360 games. Uh, again, uh, that was an awesome uh, deal that my, my co-worker gave me, so uh, thanks to him for... Well, selling those off at a real good price because, uh, yeah, if I was getting those in GameStop, I would have been way over what I spent on them. Uh, but there are some more games, uh, and these were just uh, recent pickups. 
Uh, there's a local store here where I live. Uh, and it's a little independent store and they always have some good deals. So uh, uh, recently we got the Lego Movie, the video game. Uh, again, just it's on the Wii U. Kids love it. So, uh, and it's another one we do have on the PC. So I'm just delighted that it's one more thing that they don't want to go on my PC for. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, we've got the Super Mario World uh, 3D, uh, or 3D World, sorry. Uh, again, it's a real good game. I've played it a little bit just when we got it. Uh, just picked this up at the weekend. So, uh, yeah, real fun game so far. Kids are loving it. You can get four-player uh, simultaneous uh, co-op on it, so uh, can't complain with that. It's been a lot of fun so far. Uh, next one... I was uh, I've got a PS One game, uh, Nuclear Strike. Uh, I have a uh, Desert Strike video going up uh, on the channel pretty soon, and when I was playing that, it kind of got my appetite for uh, some more strike games. So uh, you know, there's the uh, the Urban Strike, the Jungle Strike, uh, the Nuclear Strike, and I think I'm missing one, but there's like five of them, and they're all pretty good. So uh, when I saw this for five bucks in the game store. Thought it was a good deal and I had some uh, leftover cash on a gift card so uh, it's a good deal. Uh, also, uh, Halo 2 uh, on the original Xbox. Uh, the only Halo game I haven't played, I've got all the other ones up to uh, Halo 4 uh, or Halo Reach, I'm not sure which came last. So, uh, But got all the Xbox 360 ones anyway so uh, wanted to try it. Halo 2, I just didn't get it back in the day, just missed it, so uh, yeah, played a little bit of it and so far I've been liking what I've seen, so uh, it plays really well on the 360. And the last game is Gran Turismo 6, so uh, this has completed my Gran Turismo collection today, I've got all the other ones, and with Gran Turismo 7 coming out soon, I uh, just wanted to, uh, you know, get some more uh, Gran Turismo action and just get kind of prepped for the new one uh, for when it finally comes out. Uh, this was a GameStop, I don't know if that game in Generations, the local store, so uh, uh, my wife picked that up in there for me. So, uh, yeah, the only downside with this one was the sheer amount of updates that was on it. Uh, initially, I think it took... Uh, about seven or eight hours to actually do the updates and then when that was finished I had to do the installs as well and we've got decent internet here you know it's uh, we're looking at 60 meg down and it just took forever to play it so uh, I came rushing home from work put it in and couldn't play it until uh, it did all the updates and then the install was mandatory as well so uh, so it's an awesome game I do recommend it but if you uh, you know, if you want to play it, make sure you uh, put some time aside for the install and the updates because it's going to take a while. And once it gets there, uh, it runs sweet. But yeah, just be warned. And last thing, uh, we've got a little public service announcement. Uh, I love uh, the Retro Gamer magazine uh, from the UK. I get it every month. Uh, recently went all digital on it, so I've been picking them up on the... Uh, uh, the Play Store on my tablet because uh, they recently jacked the price up in our local stores to 15 bucks up from 10 and while I get inflation and stuff uh, a $5 hike was still a bit much so uh, but I still go in now and again just to see what they have and when I was in there the last time they had this uh, video game uh, hardware handbook uh, so basically what Retro Gamers done is they've gone through all their back issues lifted out the features for just the hardware specifically and put it all into one uh, kind of bookazine. Uh, cost $20 and uh, we're in Wisconsin here uh, in the US so uh, if you're looking to pick this up it should still be in stores. Uh, we got it, uh, it was a book world store uh, but you'll get it in Borders, uh, Barnes and Noble, places like that. I've seen it in Barnes and Noble for sure so uh, you should be able to get it, but I uh, highly recommend it though. If you like the older consoles and computers, uh, this has got everything from the Atari 2600 to the Neo Geo to the Commodore Amiga 500 to the GameCube. Just every old thing you can think of is kind of covered. 
they even have uh, the Amstrad CPC 464, which was my uh, first PC, or my first computer. I wouldn't call it a proper PC by any means, but that was the, uh, the Amstrad, which, uh, yeah, it's just fantastic if you can see that. So uh, they have a big section on that with must-play games, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it cost twenty dollars, but uh, it was money well spent. It's, I've been reading it and rereading it, and yeah, highly recommend it. Uh, so that was all our kind of recent pickups. Uh, uh, as I said, we're going to try and get some of these other games uh, up on the channel at some point. Uh, Gran Turismo Six probably might be a bit longer to get that up there because uh, I need to get another adapter for the Elgato just to get by the. Uh, the kind of HDCP encryption on the PlayStation 3, so thanks Sony, because Xbox 360 works fine, so, uh, so yeah, we'll be getting all the Xbox stuff up uh, at some point as well anyway, so, uh, uh, but that just about does it for this uh, video, so uh, thanks for watching, and uh, if you like, you know, by all means, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, if you get any of these games you want to see footage of uh, before any of the other ones, you know, let us know, you can, uh, see what we can work out and uh, yeah thanks for stopping by and uh, we'll see you next time